going on everybody another episode of catch not fish and it's been over a week since i made a video been working and the off days that i had this week i had to get some things done around the house um, some honey to-do list items um actually i work wednesday thursday nights and then technically this is my short week, so I'm supposed to be off uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I go back in Monday days. So I got off this morning. So obviously I would probably spend time with the family or go fishing. But at my job, we're running so short on um, crew members, I cover tonight and tomorrow night. And it's not because I want to, I do not want to. I'm dreading going in. It's um, because I know you have to sacrifice now for a better tomorrow. And for example, I was off Monday, Tuesday, and I, then I said I work Wednesday, Thursday, so this is my short week. But Monday, Tuesday, we fished in the community lake here in our subdivision. And uh, I didn't get any bites. Um, and it's amazing because I watch a lot of fishing reports and the gentleman that he posts on a regular basis, he stated that uh, a couple of days prior to, I believe it was Monday, he caught 19 black bass. And then like two days later, he went and he didn't catch nothing. And then in, in his post, he put wrong tide, wrong wind, wrong temperature, wrong water temperature, everything was wrong. Wrong pressure. So as, as uh, you recall in my previous videos, there, there are a lot of variables to put together when fishing. Because think about it, you can go fishing one day and catch 19 black bass. That's a pretty good day. And then you can go the very next day and not catch nothing. You're like, well, what? What is that all about? And it's because of the variables, the location, and so many things. So a lot of times somebody go fishing, they, they cast and they hook up and they catch one fish and it could have been luck, it could have been a fluke, it was just at the right moment, at the right time. In this video, I'm sorry, this channel, I want to uh, give you all of those variables that you can put together for success. Catch, not fish, so we go fishing uh, we can catch fish, not just fish and just like, man, you want to be involved in action. So there's a lot of things running through my mind. So my family and I, we went to the community lake. Uh, there was a, a gentleman that walked over to me and, he, and uh, he said he had a question to ask me. And the question that he asked me, it gave me a lot of uh, motivation because he stated, it was like, how, how are you able to fish and, and be around, like in your garage, the way you are all the time? And I kind of thought about it because in our subdivision, we're like the first home. So everyone that turns into our subdivision, they pass by our home. And normally I have uh, the garage blew up and I like going outside at night because because it's quieter and cooler. And I have the LED lights in the garage so it's bright. So even from the road, you can see it's, it's lit up. The whole front yard lit up, it's bright. You can see in the garage and then I have all my, my fish tank lights on. So, and he stays like, how are you always able to be home? You always have your boat in the driveway doing something to the boat. You're always fishing at the lake. And what's so funny is I don't even fish or I don't even do all the things that I want to do. So when I wake up, I kind of be uh, like, man, I have to go to work. I mean, I got to do this. And Because I wish I could fish every day. I wish I could just solely focus on what it is that I want to do. And that's target fish. Fish, enjoy the outdoors make memories, catch fish for my family and I to eat, and just have an amazing time. I'm severely ate up with it. And I'm not even pursuing it the way that I wish that I could pursue it. I don't want to work this weekend. 
the Lord knows my heart. I do not. I almost have to go in. I'm going to be late probably almost because I normally have to leave at like 5.15. But I wanted to make this video because it's been about a week since I made a video. So I was like, well, I want to do a quick video. And uh, a couple of days ago when I was at work, sometimes I have to motivate myself. So I look at motivational sayings or speeches and stuff to pep you up to get you through the day. And it was amazing that the gentleman stated that at the community late when he walked over is because sometimes you see others and you never know what they're actually going through. You don't really know what state they're in or where they are in life. So he thinks that I go fishing all the time and I'm able to be home all the time and I can do everything. But in my heart, it's like, man, like I, I don't want to be doing what I'm doing. I don't want to go clean the work right now. But I know to get where it is that I want to be in the future that I want to build for my family, you have to make sacrifices. So instead of just, I'm just going to relax Friday night and, you know, Saturday, whatever, I'm, I'm sacrificing today for a better tomorrow. And like I said, my mind is racing. I promise you I can sit here to midnight and talk to you about how I feel about things because another video is I want to talk about is like a life and death experience and planning and such. And, and I actually experienced the life and death experience. You know, I was, I was hit while riding my bicycle and I didn't have my helmet on and I actually got hit and I got thrown up in the air and the guy was going 55, 60 miles per hour, I could have easily been dead. And some people say, well, yeah, I live for the day and, and, and you can't, I, you, you have to do what it is that's in your heart to do. And that's why I'm gonna give you this picture that I look at a lot of times that motivate me. And, and, and even when the gentleman came to me and stated that, you have to kind of set your own plan, your own goals, and that's what you work towards. And, and this video is dedicated to catching not fish, but, but there are so many things I wish that I could talk about and I want to talk about, whether it's finances, whether it's education, whether it's overall doing what it is that you want to do, because when you take a program on, there are so many variables that it takes to actually get to that finish line that you want to do. So if I say, you know, I want to catch, not fish. Well, even finances have a part in that because if you want to go fishing every day, there's no way that you can go fishing every day, gas, fuel, tackle, bait, food, expenses, preventative maintenance, you're not gonna be able to sustain it. So that's why in my videos, a couple of them I talked about how to preserve bait, how to keep bait on hand, how to catch your own bait, uh, little uh, tips and tricks. It's because there are so many variables to uh, the bigger picture. And even like today, I'm going in to our overtime for a better tomorrow because uh, there's a channel I like watching, uh, Florida Sportsman, and they talk about the Bahama Weekend Blast. That's something that I wish that I can get to at one point in my life to be able to do. It's like, I don't know anybody in my personal circle that can do a Bahama Weekend Blast. So we're like, what is the Bahama Weekend Blast? It's when you drive to what, Jupiter, Florida, and you have your boat, and you put your boat in, you launch and you make the the hour and a half, two hour, three hour run, four hour run to wherever you're going. When you get there, you gotta check in um, with customs, and then and then you just, so imagine the money it takes to be able to do that. Like for example, regular gas is four dollars and sixty cents today. So imagine how much money in, in a big outboard with with two and three four outboards and you're on board we're going out there for the whole weekend so you know you're gonna 
want to be out there with the, the correct bait, some of the baits that they're talking about uh, using, it's like a thousand dollars for four or five dozen. Or it's like, there's amazing, it's amazing the point people are in, in, in um, their life. And like I said, so many thoughts, because like, I truly have a passion for fishing. And I just wanted to give my view is this video just, I guess, to help motivate you to, to say, hey, keep doing what it is that you have your eyes set on. And, and I know a lot of times it can be so uh, hard and, and, I, and I truly understand. And I, and I, like, I do not feel like going to work tonight, but I'm sacrificing today for a better tomorrow and, and, and uh, to support that. I don't know why I made it through the accident. And someone could say, well, it's because it wasn't your time. But you can say, well, I'd rather spend it today than you live your whole life not really planning or preparing for a better tomorrow. And then you never, then when you get there, people are like, well, you should have you should have planned better. You should have did this different. Or, and then you save your whole life to get to the finish line. And people say, well, you should enjoy life, you can't. So honestly, that's why I feel you have to do what it is in your heart that you feel is best. And uh, it's like retirement. It's like my retirement goals may be different, but your retirement goals, and I know I'm not a, a, a famous, wealthy, multi-millionaire, multi-billionaire, but I truly believe to get where it is that you want to be in life, you have to master three things. That's your income, that's your debt, and your spending habits. So it is my true belief if you can master those three topics, your income, your debt, your spending habits, you be able to do what it is that you want to do it and I want to be able to enjoy time with my family and I want to be able to go out and about it and, and not be on anyone else's uh, uh, plan. I'm on my plan and if anyone has any questions or comments or, or anything I, I want to be here for it because this channel I want to dedicate it to how to catch fish and I gotta go. I know I'm gonna be severely late, but I wanted to give you this video. So tomorrow morning, when I get off at 0600, I'm thinking about uh, going fishing. And tomorrow low tide is at 0617, where I fished the last uh, time in uh, Lofton Creek. So I'm hoping I can get off in the morning and be able to uh, get the family, put the boat in for a couple of hours, and have a productive day. Because this is one variable that I always talk about, and it's the tide. And we live in Jacksonville, Florida. We're so close to the ocean that our rivers and creeks are tidal driven. So the tide comes in and the tide comes out. And the, the bite is best when the water is moving. So as I stated, it's gonna be low tide at 0617. So by the time I get home, get the boat hooked up, put the boat in, the water probably gonna start moving back in the creeks. Probably about 8.30, 9 o'clock, because it's gonna be high tide at 11.10. So hopefully we can be there at the right time where the bite is good. So that's a variable, you know. To, I think the tide is going to be good for tomorrow morning. Well, until next time, let's catch not fish.